infantry. But, you know, um, I, it makes more sense. I want the guys that have horses to live on. Aw, oh, man, that means they're just at war with us now. Which means that they can really concentrate on maybe even trying to take Trebizond back. And then possibly even attacking us. I have a feeling across the Black Sea, everybody will just kind of be going past it, like over here. From Trebizond to Sara. Probably mispronouncing that too, but... You know, just them trying to take that, us trying to take this, and vice versa, whatever. And... Oh, uh, yes, I was not attacked. Ooh, velvet. Oils, tools, iron, salt, linen, wool, leather, wine, honey, butter, wool, hides, dates, ale, pottery, whole thing. Nice. What? Oh, no. As I suspected, Trebizond is under siege. Let's go check it out, see if the city is really, really in danger. Hopefully not. Because, well, um, nice. Oh, oh, that's right, we have an oil press in Kiev, and Mongol Encampment 3, making a lot of money, even though it has a terrible name. I wonder if you can rename your lands. I don't think you can. I would give it a really kick-ass name if I could. What would my name be for Mongol Encampment 3? Ah, well. God, we are moving so friggin' slow. Run. Just be coconuts banging together to show this. Um, alright, let's pause. So, oh god, there's only 117 defenders. Get the attackers. Here, I'm trying to get a proper look. Ugh. There's like 400 or so of them, I think, near. Um. Yeah, we're not going to keep this territory long, so don't get too attached to it, people. Alright, let's just sell all this stuff. Stuffs. And then get the hell out of here. Because this place is going down. I'm making a lot of money. This is really good. And they can't quite pay for that. Ooh. Oh, what? Dude, that's like... Oh my god, that's so much freaking money. What about this? Ooh, it's kind of a step up. That looks nice. I'll keep this and give it to one of my people. I think one of them needed a new vest or something. And now we can sell all of this shit and... Ta-da, we don't really even have to pay that much anymore. Somebody needs to have high strength to be able to use that. All right, and it was, yes, you. See so your equipment first. Can you handle this? Nice. You already have a spear, though. Ah, whatever. And I'll give you that. And now your feet look ridiculous with that on. Oh, well. And, yeah, now we have all veteran footmen. Uh, should I try to defend? No, it's not worth it. This city is going to be taken over. And I feel bad about leaving it. Oh, well, could have gotten that. How how's that look? Looks cool. That looks cool. They all look cool. I mean this kind of sucks in armor. Fifteen thousand for that? Dude, it freaking sucks. I mean all this armor looks cool. I mean, I think my armor right now that I have is, is good. I'm just going to stick with it. Um, uh, I feel bad about leaving them, but I'm going to have to. Let's hope they don't try to chase me. Do-do. Okay, we're good. I travel really fast on boat. Never really realized that. 
kind of wonder how they decide where the Mongol encampments go. I mean, like, why these two down here, and then these two over here? Why, why are they so spread out? I mean, like, you have two next to each other all the time. Why don't you have them, like, I guess, over on the edge? It's like where the, Mo I don't know. I'm just thinking that's kind of where the closest is to Mongolia, yet still freaking really far from Mongolia. I don't know, maybe it's good positioning, like, they'd like it here. I have no I I have no idea why why the hell am I even talking? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um Bamberg. Just out of curiosity, I wanna check that out. There it is. Scots seem to be doing good if they can take that. That's a good job for them. They already gave me into Ireland. Oh my god, and France is invading England. Yeah, they usually do. England kind of is the swadia in the fact that they always seem to suck. I mean, really, I've never played a campaign where England's been successful, mainly because they had a deal with the Irish in Ireland, the uh, Scots on their northern border, and <clears throat> in Bordeaux, and even going into southern England, they are um, constantly being attacked by the French. So they kind of get screwed over in this. This guy still has one person in his party? What the hell? Guys looking cool. Hello, Mongolian brother. How are you today? I am Temujin. Oh, awesome. That was a long time ago for a hunt. Um, I wish to ask you something. Take a... No one is eligible to wed. Suggest, uh, okay. What's the realm doing? Riding to Fen Trebizon. Okay. Um, what about you? Should I ask you something? How goes the war? Okay. Um, I don't really have anything else to talk to you guys about. Go to the tavern and get wasted. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, really nothing to do here either. I want to get into a fight, but I'm too afraid to get into a real fight. Let's talk to the Khan. He's got anything to do. I mean, see if we've got anything to do from him. Yay, he likes me. Okay. Um. Do you have any tasks? Nope. No, hell no, I'm not going there. We're screwed over there. Um, hmm, what are you and your men doing? Okay. What is the realm doing? Trebizon, blah, blah, blah. I already asked that question. Oh. Oh, screw you, man. I'm awesome. Kids would love to marry me. That sounds strange, okay. Um, hmm. You should declare war on a kingdom. Oh. Well, oh, oh, well, I didn't realize that would offend you. Sorry. Man, that guy got really friggin' pissed. I was not expecting that reaction. Let's go see if we can recruit more Mongolians in Mongol encampment number one. Man, that guy got freaking bad. And I just gained one relation point with him. Ah, oh, well. Ah, live and learn. <clears throat> God, my throat is killing me. What's the deal with that? Aw, oh, man. Why don't you guys want to join my party? We're a party. Woo. Nobody can be upgraded. I think I'm going to go add some points to the trainer next time I level up. kind of wondering what to do. Should I try to go back into Egypt and maybe try to fight them in these lower territories? I mean, I couldn't expect them to really um, have too many men down here. Would, would you? I don't know. I wouldn't. I mean, perhaps they would have lords in here because this is their new fiefs, and I think the lords usually try to 
stay around their newer fifes, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, Karak, let's take a look at locations. Karak is the first one. K's, where's the K's? Belongs to that dude. And Edessa. So, would he be at Edessa, or would he be at Karak? It is my little something. That name, that word, I think I'll remember when I we passed the eyes, didn't we? Did we? I have no idea. There we are. Um, this dude, Sultan of Rum. He's the Lord of that and Raga. Okay. So, yeah, there's reason to believe that they could be at either of those locations. And I kind of have to wonder, which one are they at? If they are at the two that are, um, that are around Egypt, then I probably shouldn't go over there. If they are at the other two, um, Edessa and Raga, which are right next to each other, then I, I may have some better luck. Um, luckily, Gmal on my route to Egypt, I'll run into those two, I'll run into the, across those two provinces. I can check to see if their lords are there. I also had to make sure that's the right lord and not just somebody waiting in that territory. But, um, I think I'll do that for next session. Ooh. Because right now, I am really, really tired. <laughs> so, um, I realize this was a very, very, very boring part. It's just me burninating and t uh, raiding a bunch of cities. These two, I think. Yeah. But we have a plan. We are going to go back to Egypt to fight. Nice source of men in Egypt to recruit, as well as, um, I, I don't know why. I, I want to call them Turks, but they're not exactly Turks. Oh my, wait, whoa, whoa. This place is under siege? All right, I'll hold your horses, everybody. We are, we are not done. We gotta go check out what's going on. Seriously. I thought they made peace with everybody. No, it's the Crusaders. Go Crusaders. Woo. I really hope they win that. Well, you know what? Screw it. We're done anyways. <laughs> Sorry to get everybody's hopes up. So if the Crusaders take Karak, then it'll just be our little tiny guerrilla war, so to speak, against Ismailaya. Which should be a fun little war to have, I guess. Um, I mean, we've got all of this area around here to recruit troops in case we're being, if we're having to do a lot of battles. Um, if they have a lord here, I would have to manage to, um, be careful and cautious and beat them in a battle when, once I can. And then it would just be a bunch of, I guess, sieges and retreats against the castle. I probably wouldn't take it in one attack, but do a couple of different attacks to weaken them. Do a lot of raiding of the surrounding um, village, <laughs> not villages, just village, but that will be for next part, probably be taking a while. I just want to take over that province because, well, it'd be cool to own a castle. And it's so far away, it, I'd hope that they wouldn't even bother trying to go raid it. it it'd be pretty safe, I'd hope. Anyways, till then, um, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.